What's up YouTube? Welcome to John's Daily Hustle. So the day has finally come where we get to go out and take our mowers out for the very first time for the 2021 lawn mowing season. As you guys know, I'm super excited about this because I'm so ready to finally be back mowing. Now I did kind of do a soft start about a few days ago anyways, and I mowed just a little bit. Now this season did take me just a little bit to get started anyways, or at least the first full day of mowing kind of took me a little bit to get into that grind. But man, today you guys are going to see I was hustling. I was just so ready and so excited to be back to it. I actually had an entire day from sunup to sundown of mowing and I actually didn't get done today. As you guys know, I was able to pick up three more apartment complexes, not nearly as big as the one I did last year. However, they're kind of tedious, but I didn't record a whole lot of footage from those apartment complexes. I recorded the end of one of them, but we have plenty of time throughout the season for you guys to see those and I'll, I'll record more as the year goes on at those apartment complexes. So let's jump to the first property and get to mowing and I'll do some voiceover as we go as well as there's going to be several parts of this video where it's just raw mowing footage and raw trimming footage and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hey, if you're new, well, before we get started, hit that subscribe button because I've got a lot of good content coming for you guys this year. So starting right off the bat, obviously I started trimming. You guys can see it's pretty wet here and this grass was pretty overgrown. Here you can really see the moisture throwing out. This first few clips you see of me trimming and actually mowing, I think it's actually pretty cool because I didn't realize how much moisture is actually getting thrown off of this tall grass because we got a lot of rain literally the day before I went out and mowed and it's a little wetter than I would really like it to be or it's more wet, <laughs> however you say it, than what I would really like for it to be when I'm mowing but I really didn't have a choice as I had to get mowing today because I've already been delayed too much and I'm really just fighting against the weather so I had to be out mowing. Now right here is where I was saying where it's actually pretty cool watching. You can see the moisture getting thrown from the tall grass as well as just mixing just right with the cooler and warmer air at the same time. So it's actually creating like fog almost. You guys will see it here later on in the video. And the entire time I'm mowing this property with my mower, that's all that it looks like is coming out of the discharge chute is just like fog and like moisture. It's pretty cool. You guys will see what I'm talking about. And right here, I didn't realize it until I was editing this video how much moisture is actually being thrown off and like fog I guess you can say is being created right there until I was editing this part. Anyways I don't know if that's normal I just thought it was cool and figured I'd point it out to you guys in case you guys didn't actually see it. Now right now I am using just the regular echo line that came in this string trimmer as you guys know I bought this string trimmer brand new back in like December I think it was so this is my first time actually getting to use it use it for the day So I'm still using just a regular echo orange standard line now I do fully plan on trying out just about every kind of trimmer line I can get my hands on anyways because I'm just so interested in getting the experience to use it and see what I really like Now here I'm excited because this is the first time I get to really engage my blades for the season So I'm very happy to finally be back mowing and it did take me a little bit to kind of get used to the rhythm and what exactly to do, I guess you can say. You know, I'm used to that muscle memory as the season goes on. You kind of can do this in your sleep. But I've kind of forgotten how to do it, I guess. Not quite forgotten, but you guys know what I mean. I've just kind of been in a funk this entire week on trying to get back into the rhythm of doing this. Now here as you watch every pass that I make with the zero turn, you can see the like moisture coming out of the discharge chute right there. And that's actually just from the grass being so tall and all the water that we've had from all the rain. Now I do want to apologize if this video looks jumpy to you. I tried to fast forward it and do like a time lapse thing and I'm using a different phone than what I normally do to my editing on. So please forgive me if the time lapses of this video are jumpy or shaky and just don't seem that smooth. I'm working on it and it won't happen in the future. Now here on this shot you can really see the, how thick the grass was and how overgrown it actually was here as well as how wet it was when I was mowing it as I'm driving through it and the tracks from my tires are like permanently laid down almost. Not quite permanently laid down but you guys know what I mean. It doesn't look that great because it's still early in the morning and like I said it was wet and very overgrown so it was just thick and got knocked down.
And of course I threw a quick little clip of the Tour of Time Master in use in this video here, this next clip you guys will see. Stay tuned because there's going to be a longer video coming using this mower. Now right here is one of the two bi-weeklies that I've picked up. I don't normally do bi-weeklies, but I did pick up two of them for this year. So this one is definitely on the rougher side. As you can see, it's not very pretty. It's nothing special to look at. And I'm actually doing a leaf cleanup here on this property kind of sort of, or at least I'm trying to mulch the leaves up here as best as I can. So that's what I'm doing here. You guys will see me go back and forth. And wait till you see the backyard. I ended up making a little bit of a mistake in the backyard. But we'll get to there soon. So here in the backyard, I was able to try and blow all the leaves into the woods just off to the right off the camera. There's a woods line there. So I'm basically just going to use the shoot blocker to basically mulch over the leaves and blow them into the woods as I go to try and make this done pretty quickly. I think I was here total like 25 minutes at this property. Now right here, you guys are going to hear a wonderful sound. Ready? Yeah. I found a rock laying there, I wasn't very happy about it, but I ended up going back and looking. It actually didn't destroy the blades as bad as it sounded, or as bad as it looked. It actually just scraped the bottom of them, but anyway, these are just my mulch blades. They're not mulching blades, but they're my blades that are, I guess you could say junk blades anyway. I use them for my leaf cleanups and stuff like that. You know, those blades are going to take an abuse and take a beating from all the sticks and cleaning up leaves and stuff like that. So. I'm not really at much of a heart loss, I guess you could say, of them being damaged there. It just sucked that it happened, but it's not the end of the world. I know that, I now know that that rock is there for when I actually go back to mow this property every other week, of course. So coming up, I'm going to show you guys just a couple of the end result of a few properties that I was able to finish. One of them's a residential and one of them's one of the apartment complexes. I didn't get a whole lot of footage of all the different places that I know this time, but the season is just getting going so I have plenty of time. So here's one of the residentials and here's one of the apartments that I did, just on the side of the cliff hill anyways. So there we go, you guys got to see, I finally had a full day of mowing to start off the 2021 season. So it was a very long day, and like I had said in the beginning, I actually didn't get the whole list of my whole route done today. In that video anyways, I actually had to go the very next day and go back and finish some of the part, some of the properties that I had picked up. The properties I picked up were just a little bit more work than I had really anticipated, so it took a little bit longer. Of course, it was the first mow. The first mow is always the worst. It's always hardest. You know, you might have to double cut, triple cut. Some of it might be, you know, a little thick. So as the season goes on, you know, like next week when I go back Thursday and Friday to mow those properties again, I'll be excited to see how well do they mow. 
and how well do they look then after that after it's got a second mowing in or even a third mowing in. Of course as you guys know I'm going to bring you all along the way with me and I'm going to go over everything that I do right and everything I do wrong with you all and I'm going to you know just show you guys exactly what happens. I've got a lot of content coming for you guys and a lot of videos I'm making and a lot of videos I'm currently editing right now. So I promise you all this year is going to be absolutely full of all kinds of good content. I promise I'm going to keep you guys entertained. So hey if you haven't already subscribed please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and as always guys thank y'all for watching i will see y'all in the next video Psst. if you're still here i think daily uploads are coming very soon it's like we're gonna upload every day for at least a week again because i've got a lot of content for you guys but shh, that's just mine and your secret